Hello friends, today in this video we will see elaborately the topic threshold monitoring and issues. Okay, so for that I will continue opening some project. Now you can able to see the uh, title bar here. So it is just uh, showing no current project. Okay, so I will just go to enterprise projects and I will open the sample project. Then you can able to see the title bar or something. It is getting updated with the project name. Okay, this is some example project. Here there is some progress also. So here something completed and something not completed. You can able to see here. So here it is like a 42 percentage around completed and it is like a zero percentage completed and you can able to see everything in the GAN chart and you can able to visible month wise also by using this uh, icon over here. Okay, now I am just going to monitor some threshold in this project. So for that, what I can do here means I will just go to project because this is something depending on the project. So we should go to project menu. So in this we have threshold. So immediately the project threshold it will come. So already there is something uh, we have. So I will just delete that also. So nothing we have. So whenever when you are doing initially it will be like this. So later you can just click the add button as usual. So here you can able to select different threshold parameters. So we are having many parameters. The same we can also select in general and here also. So for example I will continue with the cost performance index. That is like everyone knowing. So cost performance index is something it should be one then it is like a as per the planned one. So the project is going as per what we planned. So as per the cost we are also going in actuals. But if it is like a less than one it is just going out of the budget. So not good for the project. Okay if it is like more than one like what we planned is something like more but what the actual is very less. So that is also very good for the project. So that is what the cost performance index okay. So now what we will do means like I will just go here input the thresholds. So threshold is something called limits. You can put some limits for example I will put here 0 0.5 and here I will put something like 1 okay when you are putting this limits here so what the software so will analyze means like uh, it will try to uh, filter anything below the value of 0.5 or anything above the value of 1. So in between 0.5 to 1 it never consider. So that you need to be take care. So anything below 0.5 it will show the issue or anything more than 1 it will show the issues as well. Okay this columns we can also like take here by customizing. So upper threshold, lower threshold and we can also take a priority or total issues we can take. So priority already here. So WBS. Uh, so what are the things we have here right. So everything we also can able to take from here. Okay now we so we will consider only these columns. Okay, now we don't have any issue because we not monitor the threshold. Okay, so and also we can able to just go to general and we can able to select which one you want to monitor. So WBS or activity. So I will just go to activity. So it will straight away monitor the activity. Okay, that also we can able to select from here. So detail to monitor. So here we have. So here if you want activity you can monitor activity or WBS accordingly you can also select from here. This is like the whole WBS. So here I will select the whole WBS. In this we are going to monitor the activities. Okay. 
and if you want to add some tracking layout for reference because tracking layout we we just uh, put ourselves when we are doing end value analysis so that something you can able to put for reference so, and also the responsible manager also we can put who is responsible for this uh, threshold monitor so for example i will put gm civil so he is the guy who is going to take care of this uh, threshold monitor so everything we done here and then we will go to detail and here we can able to select the date also so for example i will just go for project yearly start and also for example i will go for earliest data date okay now we don't have issues to generate issues what we should do we need go to tools and monitor threshold so here you will be having so tools monitor threshold and here it will come like use original threshold monitor window or use new threshold monitor window so we can use this and we can select for some particular date and you can able to go in a new window otherwise i will continue with the same so monitor so 14 issues were identified and you can able to click okay that only here it is listing and here you can able to see it is just showing something so something less than 0.5 so 0.3 0.4 even 0 also less than 0.5 that's why it is showing but upper threshold 1 so that's why more than 1 also it's showing anything in between this 0.5 to 1 0.6 0.7 0.8 0.9 it won't show that many of you like uh, not aware of that i am just telling in this video so you will be doing precisely hereafter okay so if you want to change this column so upper threshold i will just put below this then we can able to see 0.5 to 1 it won't consider in between it will consider only outside so now we also have something called tools and there is something called issue navigator you can click the issue navigator then all the issues it will be displayed here also then when you click that and then you can able to go to tracking why tracking is coming because we are putting the tracking layout here if you are not putting here the tracking button it won't come so when you click this it will automatically go to the tracking layout so when you click this activity it will automatically go to the activity so here it is automatically selecting so no need to go for manual so manual it will take time for and also we have n number of activities and even you can able to monitor wbs by clicking directly so it will just go to the particular window then later we can able to see what is going on in this and we even we can able to see whether the status is open or not priority high or low and even you can able to see all the details but this is only navigator but if you want to just uh, go for issues so you can just go here and details and you can just click something whatever you want then you need to click go to so when you click go to it will automatically go to project issues then here you can able to just go and do something so date identified on particular day so even you can able to change that and you can able to like uh, change uh, responsible manager so here we can able to see all this detail and also we have status so if you want to put this on hold you can put this on hold and priority you can choose whatever you want here we have five different priority and resolution date so here we can also select the resolution date so for example this is what the resolution date and even you can go to details and here we can't able to apply to resources why because we are using threshold monitor window to get this issue otherwise we can create our own issue then we can able to apply the resources in that case the threshold parameter is invisible so now we can't able to click anything so for example what i will do means i will create my own issue i will just put a resource over allocated this is a issue so for what so i will just go to general so resource over allocated so then i will just go for details and i will select some particular activity for example this activity 
okay then we can just to select some particular resource which resource for example this uh, painter is over allocated so this uh, i already did before uh, this video that's why it is coming uh, two times okay then you can able to select the applies to resource otherwise we can't so now the threshold parameter we can't able to select it is nothing because we just created ourselves so then we can just go to notes and you can able to put something so this resource is over allocated mr x some person could you could you please check and solve the issue so something like this we can able to just click okay then it will be highlighting here so whenever someone just uh, looking this issue they will know what is going on in it so as per the thing we can also select the priority so i will put this as high priority and also it is just like on hold so like this you can able to just uh, work with this project threshold and then project issues okay so this is what we have so here we can't able to select threshold so that we can't able to put any threshold limits so lower limit and upper limit we can't able to put so the actual value also not displaying but in other cases see it is displaying so 0.5 lower upper is 1 so it is just showing 1.1 which is like away from that in between it never show so here also you can't able to change because we already like uh, monitoring from here if you want to change or if you want to create something then you need to just go here so for example if i am just going some other something else so here it is like 14 issue right i will just go for uh, some other wbs only this wbs then it is asking changing the WBS for the threshold will remove its association to any issues. Are you sure? Yes. Okay. Okay. Now you need to go to tools and then monitor threshold. See now based on the WBS we selected only two issues were generated. So like this using this column also you can able to select whatever you want and you can able to monitor the issues. Very simple. So this threshold monitoring and issues, you can't able to get this much explanation anywhere else in internet. So this is what I explored myself and what I explored only I'm just telling to you friends. I'm just sharing with you friends. So kindly make use of it. So all my videos are highly like knowledgeable. So anyone who want to just work with Primavera even for a very big project, they can able to utilize my videos. So it is like highly helpful for everyone already many people just they are just getting benefited so i hope this also will be useful for you if you like this video don't forget to like so keep watching more videos from my channel playlist so see you with another interesting video and have a great day bye bye